my name's Anne Forgan and I'm part of the bigger picture. So today we're going to make motivational badges because I think they're a really good way of um, expressing self-care. I'm a real believer in the power of words. I think it really helps to surround yourself in positive messages. You can use um, badges as a way of saying for yourself how you're feeling and also to let other people know how you might be feeling. I made this badge for my two teenagers who struggle sometimes to get up in the morning and uh, it's a way of smiling and laughing about the fact that that's a bit of a challenge and to make them feel good about the fact that the rest of the day is a win because they managed to get themselves out of bed. Being kind to ourselves and celebrating our small victories is what um, keeps us going. This is another design. I got a bit carried away making this one. It's quite glitzy, quite br uh, bright. I'm a big fan of bright colours. So this is just to celebrate being okay. However, you might want to um, sometimes just let people know that you're okay-ish. You know, that, they're, that you're doing all right, but you know, things could be better. So it's a good way of starting a conversation, say on a Zoom chat or whatever, if you're wearing these two badges. And then there are those days, and I know we've all had them, where you're just not okay. So you might really want people to know, this is the time you could really do with a chat, you know, somebody to post a chocolate bar through the letterbox. So we're going to make uh, a badge today and I'm just gonna show you one way of doing it, but there's all sorts of ways. This is an opportunity for you to just have fun with whatever materials you have and however you want to go about making your badge. You might decide you want to do a cloth badge. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make one just out of bits and bobs you might be able to find around the house out of just paper and cardboard. This badge here, the um, lettering in the middle, which is kind of rather fabulous, I took from a fruit lolly cardboard box. Obviously wrapping paper is also great. So I've got a couple of bits and bobs I've got here, some nice wrapping paper. Um, wrapping paper is always worth keeping. So now I'm going to show you how to make a badge and I've written the word trying on this badge and you can put whatever motivational word or couple of words you want. So to begin with making my badge I'm going to start with the inner circle of my badge and I'm going to write the text. So don't get too hung up on perfection. We're just trying, okay? We're doing the best we can. So that's my lettering. Uh, now I'll just cut out that inner shape. You see that one? That's my first uh, layer. Now I'm going to stick this onto another colour because I'm a big one for bright colours and I like to make them really pop by putting contrasting colours together. Now, in terms of sticking things together, again, it's about what you've got available to you. I've got some uh, cheap and cheerful uh, glue stick glue. It's not brilliant, but it does the job. It, it uh, doesn't hold terribly well, but good enough for paper. PVA glue is better, but obviously it gets very wet so it takes time to dry but if you've got more patience then yes use PVA glue so I'm just now going to cut around this okay and now for my next layer you can do as many layers as you like I've gone for four I feel like four is enough I've got this beautiful um, kind of watercolor pattern that I really like and the tea is calming um, apparently. Okay, so let's put trying on there. I like this uh, this watercolour uh, vibe because it just, yeah, it does look relaxing 
and positive. So there we go. Now I'm just going to free form, just cut round. If it bothers you that that the um, shapes are not equal, measure it properly. I I am too lazy and I don't really mind if things are a little bit uh, wonky. But if it does bother you, feel free. Um, we all have our taste. Some people like things super neat and tidy. Some people like them a bit more random. Neither is wrong. It's just taste. So feel free to make it the way that feels right to you. Okay. Trying. It's getting there. Right. Now this is where glue becomes a bit of an issue because I suspect this will not stick down terribly well. So we'll see how we get on. Other solutions that you might want to try for sticking um, stiffer card together. If you don't have PVA glue, um, is double sided sellotape. That's my go to solution. OK, so we've got our one, two, three, four layers now. And then this is the fun bit. I'm making this kind of, <laughs> it's supposed to be a ribbon, believe it or not. But anyway, that lovely zigzaggy effect you get on the outside of um, rosettes. So let's just snip away. And because the whole thing is rather uh, irregular, I'm carrying on. I'm not trying to make it too um, perfect. OK, so to make the little ribbons, I've uh, made everything asymmetrical. It's not dead centre, so I'm going to do the same again, because that's the kind of person I am, a bit asymmetrical. These have got a bit of uh, post-it note glue on them, but I don't trust them. So I'll just put a bit more. I've just got a basic safety pin. Um, and we're going to stick it on the back. As I say, I recommend that after you've made your badge that you flatten it out for a while. Uh, go and have a cup of tea and then come back before you put it on. Obviously, this kind of technique works for all kinds of celebratory badges and uh, rosettes. Um, if people have passed their driving test, got their GCSEs or you want to thank them for something. So there we are, that's the badge. And there we have it, a badge for celebrating trying.